Go, baby, you got this. All right. You're looking sexy. Hey, Carlton here. Today, we're just gonna talk about the mini split. We're gonna talk about like, just what it is, how it works, its efficiency, how we have it set up. Uh, basically, it's just a household unit. It's what they put on tiny houses nowadays. It's what the whole world uses besides America, really. And it's just an outdoor unit and an indoor unit, just like your house, just smaller. Um, it only takes about eight and a half amps to run full power in Florida heat. Uh, it's, it's, what is it, 12.30, one o'clock right now, and it is, you probably can't even hear it running on the microphone. But it is blowing, cold, it's freezing in there. Um, we just have it set up, if you wanna look, we just have it set up on a hitch carrier. It's a double hitch carrier, so we can still tow our car. We have the extension and it's sitting on top. We just have these here, so it stops the rattle. Doesn't move, we just did a 4,000 mile trip. Not a problem. These are the lines. This is our, um, our 110, just a regular 110 hookup. We just plugged it into the breaker where our other air conditionings were. We don't have either air conditioning on top anymore. These are our refrigerant lines. They go all the way to the indoor unit. And we just have it strapped on. I just like to feel safer. Um, if you want to see over here, we're actually only plugged in on a regular 110 outlet. So we're at, we're at Tony's mom's right now because the RV parks won't let us in yet until they clear from Hurricane Irma. So we are just plugged in with one a 100 foot cable and with an adapter into an adapter into an adapter into our 50 amp hookup. And that is giving us enough power to run the air conditioning. If we can go inside and we'll see, I think we have it set on 71 right now and it is 94 degrees outside. And it is blowing cold. The camera may even fog up because it's so cold in here. But this is it. This is the indoor unit. It shows right here. I don't know if you can see it. It says 71. This, uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> the little gate goes up and down and throws air everywhere. But these are our indoor lines. So you're supposed to go outside of a normal house and drill through the wall, which we're not going to do in a motorhome. So we went down. We actually cut a hole in our desk and went straight down into the floor. And that runs about 35 feet back to the outdoor unit. And it comes with a little remote control. And here's how easy it is to clean. There's your filters, that's it. You just pull those out, run them through the sink for a second, and they're clean. This will also do, this will also do your heat. Um, the heat runs about nine amps. Uh, both of them are around 900 to 1,000 watts. So we are able to have this running and get some work done or play some PlayStation or anything uh, while we're here at her mom's house only on one regular outlet. The only thing we wouldn't do is run this in the microwave at the same time. But that's about it. It is freezing. I kind of want to get out of the way of this thing because it is blowing way too cold on me right now. Um, I'll show you. We have this going down and that connects to there but there's also a drain. So this does drain and there's a big pile of AC evaporate outside. Um, but that's really it. What we did is we just unplugged both of our roof units and we took the existing 120 breaker, unplugged those and we plugged this directly into that and that is our power. And that's all there was to it. Um, we just zip tied the lines underneath all the way to the back and that's hold it up. We drove all the way to Maine and back and it is still working perfectly fine. We had to use the heat up there because it was only in the 40s some nights. But back in Florida, 71 degrees is freezing. Well, that's about it. Um, any other questions? We'll leave the links for all of these products uh, on the bottom. And any other questions, I'm sure there's gonna be questions. I'm sure I missed something. Uh, we'll, be, we'll answer them right away. So stay tuned for the next video. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> all right.